everyone, how are you doing today? I'm Julie, welcome to Big Sky Beauty, and I've got some some goodies for you here. Now, this is not a haul, okay? I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday looking for some coloring books for my grandson, and the gal was there putting out all of their new makeup. Now, this is the absolute last thing that I need, okay? So, I'm not keeping any of this. I'm going to send this to one of you. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I'll think about it while I'm editing this video, and maybe I'll make a short little snippet and put it at the end of it or something, but um, I just wanted to show you these. I actually did in-video swatches. I, You'll see, but so that I can show you swatches of everything, how it goes on the skin. Um, if you have, you've got to have a primer. It is critical, okay? This is all Profusion brand, and then there's a few LA colors here. But um, it's all Profusion brand makeup, which, you know, they sell at dollar stores. Um, I think the same things go for 3 to $5 at Walgreens. But it's, you know, the, the color pigmentation is there. But it just doesn't like to stick on your skin. And the minute you, you know, start wiping it, it or blending it, it just disappears. So if you, as long as you have a good, solid uh, primer or a paint pot or an e.l.f. smudge pot. And in the tutorial that I'm going to show you, I used only these products that I'm showing you. And a Coastal Sense eye primer and e.l.f. smudge pot in Pop and Party. Those are the only other things I use besides my brushes, obviously, and my mascara, and I guess my eyelashes. <laughs> but these eyelashes are actually the ones that I've been sending out in my in my monthly giveaways. Revlons, you know. I kind of like them. You know, not everyday look, but they're quite pretty. Okay, well, anyway, so let me show you them real quick so I can get on with the tutorial and we can end this. I got three of, and these were all a buck a piece, I got three LA Color Trios, okay? The first one is called Iris, and that is that one there. Okay, the second one is called Lotus, and the third one is called Sunflower, and that is those ones there. Pretty, aren't they? <laughs> Okay, and if you build them up, you know, use a primer and build them up, you can get that exact color on your on your flush. So that's pretty cool. Okay, and then these ones are little 12 pan 12 pan compacts or palettes. Out of the whole bunch, these are the uh, lesser quality. <laughs> so this is just um, these don't have a name. Just a 12 color palette. Color me vintage. That's number six, and this is Color Me Vintage number eight. Now you will see that, uh, you see how there's like holes dug in some of them here? <laughs> like that one, and then the purple one over here. That was me just trying to get the color built up. But I haven't, you know, I mean, look, it comes off great on my finger, right? Holy crap. And then you put it on my hand, and it looks okay. But, well, actually, of course, I've got primers and stuff on the back of my hand from when I was filming the tutorials, so that's the only reason why it's sticking. But that goes to show you, you know, if you got a good primer, these are, they're just beautiful and fun colors, and, I mean, I don't need them, but I wanted to get them all to see if it would be something that you guys would, you know, somebody out there that might have a Dollar Tree around you, don't have the money to go down and buy this massive amount of product, you know, it, it Ulta or something would cost you hundreds of dollars, and this was only 12 So, okay, so this is, um, these are all called Halo. Halo the palette. And this is the pink one. Okay, and this one is the blue, the blue lace looking one. And this is the black lace looking one. <laughs> And this is the only matte. This is all matte, too. And this one is the silver one. Out of all of these that I've shown you, like I just told you, this one is matte, and these two here are all matte. There's no shimmer, no shine, no nothing in any of them, in either one of these. So 
that's that's actually really good. You got a, a you know a ridiculously big range of colors here for of matte, you know, for two bucks. But again, better have a lot of primer. <laughs> okay, um, and these ones again, they don't have a name or a, you know a name to them, and these are just little quads. And I really like the packaging on these. I like the packaging on these too. It's cute. These are very similar to all three of these ones. And there is this one here. Then this one. So that is it. Um, that is all 12 items that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. And that is what our dollar store here is, is the Dollar Tree. So if you have a Dollar Tree in your vicinity, get him out. If you have a Dollar Tree in your vicinity, you know, and you don't have the cash to go spend a bunch of money at Ulta to get this incredible range of colors, and of course all of these are, these are really, really pretty. You don't need a primer with these ones either. Out of all of these, these are the ones that you really don't have to have a primer with. Okay, this is without a primer. Well, let's put it where there's no primer at. See? Look at that color. That's, I mean, that's good. Uh, yeah, so if you guys want, you got $12, man, you can go get you a whole heck of a lot of makeup for it, and, uh, make sure you don't put your foundation on first. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to give these away. I don't have any use for them whatsoever. I've got all of these colors and then some in many different palettes, so I'm going to give these away, and I'm also going to include a, it's, it's, they're all of my spare brushes, okay? Well, not spare, but all my spare elf brushes. But it's pretty much a full set and then some. Uh, I have, I am going to spray all of this down with 91% alcohol, which I have right here on my, you know, on my station. And I have washed my brushes. I washed them all. I posted pictures of, on Instagram. They're all washed and cleaned and spritzed down with 91% alcohol. So everything is, you know kosher. Also, you can do that at home if you want to. So, if there, you know, any of you that is interested in receiving this makeup, shoot me, you know, leave a comment on this video and let me know that you are interested because I know there's a lot of you gals out there that, you know, you don't want a bunch of dollar dollar store makeup. You've got your own for the same reasons that I don't want to keep it. I've just got too much as it is and I bought this just to see what the quality was and to maybe you know, show you folks that you can get makeup out there. It might not be the best quality, but it will certainly get the look done. I mean, I did everything on my face with this makeup, so yeah, you go, know, you know, I guess you could live vicariously through silly young girls that spend five, six, seven thousand dollars a week on makeup, but you know, I want to retire in Ireland, so I ain't doing that. But I did get these just to see the quality of them. Out of all of them, this was the poorest. Okay, I mean, you could still work with it, but it's the poorest. Uh, these ones are pretty dang good. I These ones kind of shocked me. I didn't use any of these in this look, but they kind of shocked me. There's few of them in here that are straight up creamy, nice colors. Uh, these ones are... Typical LA colors. The colors there, the pigmentation's there, but you really have to build it up. If you have a good primer, you're really okay. These ones here, I was stoked. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I almost thought about going back and getting a set of my own. Um, the mattes, mm, you know, you want to use a real light hand or you're li liable to go through the whole thing in just a couple uses because it just it just like disintegrates when you touch it. So you want to lose a, use a real light hand with this and a real heavy hand with the primer. But all of these shimmer shades are just beautiful. I, I'm really liking them. So that is it. You ladies, be sure and let me know if you are interested. And, and this is not really a giveaway. Well, it is because I'm giving it away, but it's not any kind of a competition or anything like that. Uh, you know, if there's anybody out there that... And, and try to be honest about it. You know, if you are stretched for finances and you're running on hard times but you love your beauty videos and blah 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 give me a shoot you know shoot me and I'm sure I'm going to get more than one pe person out there that says it out of you guys and and I guess I'll just put those names into a hat and I'll have my grandson pull a name out but you guys let me know who is interested and and um, I will ship this stuff off to you okay okay
uh, if you want to see how to get this look, she's so pretty. Ooh, it looks really good with green eyes, too. So the best thing I got going for me is, like, from here up. <laughs> if you want to see how to get this look, keep watching. So I'm going in with some Coastal Scents Primer, and I'm just doing from the lid up to my brow. And then I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Smudge Pot in Poppin' Party, and it is the Deep Purple. And I'm just putting that on my lid itself, and a little bit into the crease. And I'm also going to extend it out um, into the extended outer V, which is how I... When I put a heavy eye on with the smoky look, that's how I do it because it masks my my hooded eye. And I'm also taking it uh, that same smudge pot and pop and party underneath my eye. This technique that I'm using uh, to do my hooded eyes for the smoky eye look, I know that. Um, you know, supposedly it goes against all the rules, but it looks best on my eyes, and I have a lot of gals that love it. Now, this is the uh, first little halo palette with the blue trim on it, and I'm just taking that uh, purpley, glittery looking shadow that's in there. They don't have names, and I'm putting it all over the lid and under my eye, kind of as a base. Because I found that these LA colors stick to it a lot better than just my eye <laughs> this was just how I was able to build it up okay and there is that deepish purple color it looks blue on screen but it's a uh, deep purple and I'm just putting that into my crease and blowing it out a little bit I'm trying to anyways <laughs> okay now I'm going in with the middle color of the LA Iris pilot palette. And just put a little bit of that down as a transition. I get not a transition, but just a little bit of a gradient. And then I'm going in with the matte palette of the Halos, which is all I'm using here with the LA ones. And I'm just softening up that line a little bit. And I'm going to be going in with the white as well. I just put the uh, the matte plum and the matte white down just to, well, it's not really a plum, it's a mauve, just to give it a a little bit of a gradient because it was just too, you know, it's just pretty harsh, it's pretty dark. And I know I'm going too fast, you can't really see it much, but it, you'll see in the end, it turned out, turned out really pretty, I like it. I used to wear my eyes like this all the time. Now I'm just trying to soften that outer V up. It, Put a little bit of the mauve in the corner. I'm softening that line as you can see, blending it up a little bit. I just love those eyelashes. This is the first time I've tried them and I've got dozens of them. Okay, I'm going back into that blue and I'm going to darken up my outer corner a little bit. And you will see throughout this whole thing, I pop over to the other eye a few times because, you know, when you put your eyes on <laughs> two hours apart from each other, it's hard to get them even. Now I'm taking a little bit of that deepest. It, it, like I said, it looks blue on camera, but it's not. It's a dark, dark purple. I brought that down just a little bit, like a third of the way into the outer corner. A smoky eye is probably about the easiest eye you could ever do. Okay, I'm going to show you guys a little trick. If you get lashes with a white band, just take your liquid liner and paint the band while it's still on the lash, you know, the, the carton. Wait for it to dry and then peel them off. I do not like to use liquid liner on my eyelids because they're so old and crepey. Okay, now this is just the white in one of those halo palettes, the white glitter or the white, um, you know, frosty metallic. And I just popped it right in the middle and kind of flecked it off to either edge just to blend it out a little bit without blending the color out and put a little bit in the corner. And you can see the effect it gives. Lips are chapped. In comes the lip balm. Oh, love this elf stuff. Wonderful. 
putting it on right now as a matter of fact oh nice that looked good okay curling my eyelashes I don't know if anybody else saw that but and going in with my Anastasia dip brow and I speed this up pretty quick here in a minute because yeah we don't need to be sitting here for an hour my brows kill me you'll see right about right here <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'll just sit there and drill on them till there's no tomorrow. That's why I don't pluck anymore. And then I'm popping on my lashes. See that mole on my upper eyelid? I've been putting that stuff you can get from Walmart on it called Tag Away. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work or not, but it's kind of crusty. <laughs> That's the finished look. Um, as you can see, I got a little crazy with the eyeliner. <laughs> I don't do winged eyeliners because of my hooded eyes, but I started on it and it looked really good until one was just off a little bit and you know what happens, you just get to trying to fix it and next thing you know everything's gone to crap, so but that is my smoky, springy, purpley eye. You know, I used to wear this quite often when I was younger, something very similar anyway. And on my lips is Mally's, um, just Mally, I believe it's called. Mally's look. So, this is it, you guys. And I hope that you enjoyed the swatches, the tutorial. And um, if you guys, you know, if you got a good primer and $12, you could literally go down to the dollar store and get you, like, an entire wardrobe of, you know, functional makeup as long as you have a good primer you have to have the primer it is critical so that's it you guys i love you all so much thank you for watching and if you would like to see more videos like this give me a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed already please do so and i will see you in my next video i love you all bye